In this video, we'll learn how to adjust the bolus delivery for equal insulin patch pumps. Firstly, we need to figure out the meaning of bolus to understand how it works. The blood glucose level of people with diabetes rises after meals, requiring bolus doses of insulin to bring it down. And a bolus refers to the amount of insulin that is quickly infused before a meal to bring blood glucose levels within the target range. However, high levels of glucose in the blood vary from one food to another in terms of their value and continuity in the blood. Given that meals consist of three different types of food, namely carbohydrates, proteins, and fats, and the effect of each on the glucose levels will differ due to differences in the digestion mechanism and the time required to complete it. In the case of carbohydrates, the level of glucose in the blood increases rapidly, but it does not last for a prolonged period of time. Proteins are less effective than carbohydrates at raising glucose levels, but their effects last longer. Fats don't significantly raise blood sugar levels, but their effect remains in the blood for a longer period than most other foods. A normal person's pancreas secretes insulin according to sugar levels in the blood. This means that the higher the level of sugar in the blood, the greater the secretion of insulin and vice versa. Consequently, the glucose levels is controlled throughout the day and two things have to happen in order to fully control it with the pump. Firstly, insulin must be delivered in proportion to the amount of food consumed. Secondly, the time at which insulin is delivered must be proportional to the time at which blood glucose is high. This is exactly what happens when using the equal pump. The amount of insulin required to control glucose resulting from food intake is calculated and administered as a bolus dose. However, it is delivered over a period of time commensurate to the type of food eaten. The insulin pump will deliver the full bolus dose in a short period of time if the meal components are composed of carbohydrates. This is because carbohydrates are quickly digested and raise blood glucose quickly. And when the meal consists of proteins or fats, the total insulin dose will be extended bolus. This means that insulin will be delivered over a longer period that suits the food type. However, if the food contains mixed ingredients, for example, carbohydrates with fats or proteins, we can still control the sugar level with a different form of extended bolus. This is done by dividing the dose into two parts. The first part is intended to control glucose levels caused by carbohydrates. The remaining amount will be delivered over a longer period of time to control the glucose produced during digestion of fats and proteins. At the time of pump startup, the most relevant bolus settings are made using the setting wizard in consultation with your physician. It is possible to reset them again from the home screen. Settings. Insulin delivery settings. Bolus rate. The normal bolus delivery rate is 3.0 units per minute. Your healthcare provider can use the menu to decrease the bolus rate to 1.5 units per minute. Bolus increment setting. This is the amount that the requested bolus changes when pressing the plus or minus button. Maximum bolus setting is the maximum bolus dose that the pump can administer once. This feature is used to reduce the possibility of overdose due to error. Try setting this value as the maximum bolus you would normally give. Setting this value too high increases the risk of overdosage by maloperation. Also, we can set the extended bolus. It defaults to off and grayed out its corresponding button. We can activate it and select the amount of insulin to be delivered now, displayed in units of insulin or as a percentage of the total bolus amount. 
The last thing is to set the quick bolus settings, which will be discussed later. It is inactive by default. Click the checkbox next to the quick bolus to enable it. Quick bolus increment sets the amount that the bolus increases with every quick bolus button press. Now let's talk about how to administer a bolus, which can be done in several ways. First, a manual bolus. From the home screen, choose the bolus button to enter the bolus screen. On the upper left of the screen, there's a green bolus button. We will see the bolus amount inside is zero. In this case, the start button is grayed out. Click the bolus button to open a dialog box and choose your bolus amount. Press OK. Here, the amount of insulin units will appear inside the box and the start button will turn green, meaning it's ready. Click the start button to begin administering the bolus. Connecting to pump, animation will appear and a window will open for you to confirm that you want to send the bolus command to the pump. Your last bolus amount in time will be shown as a reminder. Click OK. The PDA will revert to the home screen and display the bolus delivery status at the rate previously configured. The bolus button will be inactive until the bolus is delivered in full. The bolus screen contains three programmable preset bolus buttons. Press the edit icon to open the preset dialog box. Adjust the value using the plus and minus buttons. Make a name for it. Click OK. Press the left area of the button and its predefined value will be displayed inside the bolus button box to the far left. A small arrow will appear that links the selected preset button to the bolus amount box. You'll get a green start button. Continue as before. In this way, we can control the amount of sugar from fast digesting foods because the pump delivers the full dose amount right after starting it. However, we can use the extended bolus option for foods that take a long time to digest. Extended boluses are delivered in two stages, the amount now, which is administered immediately, and the rest over an extended period of time. To start using the extended bolus option, first we determine the bolus amount as before. And before starting, press Extend Bolus to open the Extend Bolus window. And the amount now, enter the portion that will be delivered right after starting. This amount will be in absolute units as per the settings we made earlier. Afterward, we specify the time during which the reminder of the bolus dose will be administered. Confirm OK. Choose the Start button to begin administering the bolus. Continue following the same procedure as before. While the pump is delivering, the PDA will revert to the home screen and display the extended bolus status and amount injected from both parts. And a cut down timer shows how long is left to finish the reminder bolus portion. If we have eaten a high fat meal, when this is the case, an extended bolus without an amount now can be helpful. And it can be administered over a time period between 30 minutes and eight hours. Set the amount now to zero. No immediate bolus will be administered and the total bolus amount will be delivered over a specified time period. Equal Insulin Patch Pump System has a quick bolus feature. It allows the user to administer a bolus through a bolus button on the patch pump instead of using the touch screen or viewing the display on the PDA. This helps us in the event that the pump the user was outside and forgot the PDA or to provide some privacy for the user. Press and hold the bolus button on the patch pump. The pump will give an audible alert which indicates that quick bolus was activated earlier and you can enter a quick bolus amount. With each subsequent button press, the bolus size will increase by a predetermined increment and the total bolus amount 
will be the number of times we press the quick bolus button multiplied by the quick bolus increment value. In other words, if the bolus increment amount is two units, and if we need to administer a 10 unit dose, we press the button five times. Also, every time we press the button, we will hear a beep from the pump to confirm it was pressed. The tone associated with each press will ascend in pitch up to five. This is to help us remember how many times we have pressed the button. Note, the maximum quick bolus dose can't exceed the pre-adjusted maximum bolus setting. Once we've determined the right bolus dose, wait three seconds. Pump will play audible tones back to us to confirm the bolus amount. If the number is correct, press the button one last time and the pump will start administering the bolus. If the number of tones is incorrect, wait more than 10 seconds and the pump will give an audible alert that the quick bolus has been canceled. Similarly, you can use the enter button on the PDA to administer a quick bolus instead of the patch pump's bolus button. These were all methods available to deliver equal pump boluses, but sometimes after starting a bolus, we may need to cancel it for various reasons. For example, if we observe an incorrect bolus size, a mistake in carbohydrate intake calculations, wrong entry for blood glucose, or a change in our meal plan, etc. From the home screen, while the bolus dose is in progress, press the cancel button. A confirmation window will appear. Press OK to confirm. A pop-up dialog box will display the amount and time of the delivered bolus. The bolus can also be canceled directly from the pump. On the pump, press and hold the quick bolus button. We will receive audible confirmation from the pump and the bolus will be immediately canceled without further confirmation. Only a pop-up dialog box will appear with the administered bolus details. Notes 1. Canceling bolus delivery will cancel the total bolus, amount now and extended amount. 2. In the case when recalculating the dose again, the amount that was delivered before in the cancellation must be taken into account to be deducted from the next dose if we calculated the dose manually. However, if we use the bolus calculator, the canceled bolus dose would automatically be considered part of the active insulin and deducted from the new bolus, and considering the timing of its infusion. This will be explained later in a separate video. Please note that all the information in the video is intended to explain the functionality of the equal pump bolus. However, the bolus dose or any modifications to its amount is ultimately determined by the attending physician and after training by Microtech Medical's accredited bodies. Diabetes Cloud, live with freedom.